a Flimsy Lunch Tray here, and welcome to World of Warships. I just logged into my account, picking up the daily reward, uh, being uh, a super container, which is exciting. And today, uh, we're doing another basics episode, where we are going to be talking about community tokens. So I thought it'd be just fun to sh open this container with you. Uh, yeah, World of, War World of Warships anniversary camouflages, naturally. But community tokens, right? Uh, what are they? Uh, what are they good for? Uh, how do you earn them? Uh, all that. So you find community tokens in the armory. Uh, board gaming keeps kind of changing around how they've been doing things, and community tokens are, as of recording this, of 10.8. Um, I'm trying to think when they transitioned into community tokens. But they kind of keep changing things around a little bit. Uh, but you'll find it uh, in your armory on the Naval Community tab. Get rid of that. And when you come in, you see Naval Community. And then I have my uh, community tokens right here. I have 13,820 presently. I think when you click around on different things, it actually disappears. But if you're curious, you can always click on Wallet um, and find community tokens there. Um, but you get these different rewards uh, that you can spend your community tokens on. So um, let's talk about how you earn community tokens. Uh, there's several different ways to earn them. Uh, maybe I have some screenshots of some things I can uh, throw up here on the screen while I'm talking. Um, the primary, well, this is okay, that's several ways. I don't know which one's the best way. It depends on uh, effort and how much you want to put in to get them. Uh, but one of the main ways, several main ways, <laughs> uh, is watching the World of Warships uh, official streams. Uh, they do, uh, I think there's like, you can get up to a thousand community tokens uh, with like, they do 250 community tokens and you have to watch so many, uh, so much time of in a stream. So let's say... I don't know, I'll throw it up on the screen. I don't remember how much time it is, but it should be labeled on the screen. And you can earn up to these four sets of 250 each. So 1,000 community tokens just from watching World of Worship uh, official streams uh, on Twitch, if you have a Twitch account. Um, what I do is often I just throw the stream up on my phone and I mute my phone and I just go do something <laughs> uh, versus just sitting there and watching the stream because you don't actually have to be sitting there visually watching in order to earn the community tokens, right? Uh, the other main way is uh, by having an account on the public test server. Uh, I have an account on the public test server, and Wargaming entices players uh, to join on the public test server um, and play. Um, but by your participation, like uh, recently it was like you could earn uh, community tokens uh, from testing out uh, the convoy mode. So uh, when I posted some videos not too long ago, uh, on convoy mode with uh, Massachusetts and Amalfi, and then I just had one go up from the main server on Saturday. Uh, by playing so many missions and interacting with that new game mode, uh, I earned community tokens that came onto my main account. So if I'm using uh, my NA server account, um, and I'm logging on the public test server with my North American server, uh, North American public test server uh, account, and having that downloaded and whatnot, then I will receive that reward on my North American server because um, I've also been on the public test server with my European server uh, account, so I have to be conscious in what I'm doing there to make sure I'm getting the rewards to uh, my North American uh, server account because that's my primary server. Um, another thing that actually they did just a couple days ago or last weekend uh, was playing the new... Oh, they keep changing the name. Uh, it was called key battles uh also big hunt uh i think now they're calling it something else like uh, i don't remember now um but you played so many uh missions or played so many games got so many torpedo hits uh so on and so forth did so much damage you'd earn these community tokens which should then come to your north american server account uh, since i was playing on my public test server na account um and so you earn it through that uh, the other way is by getting Twitch containers. Um, so if you, you watch some of your favorite uh, 
World of Warships Twitch streamers on the uh, on Twitch, you will uh, there'll be these uh, combat or oh, they're they're called drops. It's in your inventory. But if you go into drops, it will show you like what uh, missions or objectives. Like um, that, that's how you earn like uh, King of the Seas. Uh, you can earn these like special containers. Um, there's there's Twitch containers. There's some other like I don't remember how they word it, but hopefully I can just have a picture of that on the screen. You can kind of see uh, what rewards I've been getting uh, from uh, watching uh, Twitch streamers uh, of World of Warships content. Um, and when you get those Twitch containers uh every time i've opened them so far i always get 100 community tokens like every time that's been the case for me thus far uh so that's nice uh the other way which actually um don't see that often but uh wargaming is enticing the player base um is every now and then you might see a, a combat mission uh for community tokens so uh they had this one where let's see earn 5,000 base xp uh, earned 350 community tokens. They had one that was like, um, win a battle. Um, I think this is, I don't know if this is a, a daily updating. Yeah, and it was like 30 community tokens, which is not a lot, but hey, I mean, if you're already doing these others, it helps. Uh, like this one, uh, 400 community tokens. This one, 550 with 50,000 base XP, which is a lot of convoy. Um, and then they just have completing these two missions for two resource containers, um, and just 100,000 credits. So that's just another way you can earn, um, community tokens. So I think that's, uh, four ways I've listed, uh, watching World of, War Fish, World of Warships, uh, Twitch official stream, uh, playing on the public test server and earning rewards there, uh, watching your, uh, favorite World of Warships Twitch streamer. Uh, get the community or the Twitch containers, um, and then you have to connect Twitch with your uh, gaming account, with your Wargaming account, um, and then you get 100 uh, community tokens from that. And then these combat missions that pop up uh, every now and then on the main server, uh, just like I was showing you here. Um, so that is how you earn them. Um, and I've not been doing this for too long, maybe like just a month. And I've already up to 13,820, and I haven't spent any of them. Um, so let's talk about the rewards. So maybe we should start from the bottom and go up, because that's kind of like the cheapest. Uh, it's the most lucrative reward. Uh, so uh, when you're starting off, uh, you get uh, these first bottom four are camouflages. Uh, they're expendable camouflages. Um, so maybe you like... Um, uh, collecting camouflages um, you can kind of see what these look like I think I actually have two of these already um, that I've just earned on uh, by some other thing um, and so you can spend uh, from 40 to 120 uh, community tokens uh, on these uh, expendable camouflages uh, you also have let's see uh, these four that are 600 each uh, safe harbor let's see this five combat signals of each um naval communications insignia signal spoils these are economic signals um so there's uh that row and i'll tell you what i think is best and what i'll maybe encourage you not to spend your community tokens on unless you're just uh have tons of community tokens out there raw zoo uh, then you have this section of permanent camouflages. So you have all the way from the Tier 5 New York uh, up to the Tier 8 uh, Bismarck uh, with the Gothic. Um, and I think all these pretty much do the same thing. Let's just confirm. Yeah, so it's plus 50% uh, XP per battle. Uh, the tactability range by C reduced by negative three percent. Cost of the ship's post battle service negative ten percent. Dispersion of shells fired by enemies attacking your ship plus four uh, percent. But you get an idea of kind of like what it looks like. Uh, this New York one I think is kind of cool. Um, I don't play the New York all the time, but I was like, hey, this would be kind of a, a cool permanent camouflage to have. Uh, I dig it. Um, some of them I don't like as much as others. Uh, I think the Bismarck. Gothic is kind of 
odd. But that's just me. Uh, and these permanent camouflages go from 2,000, you know, tier 5, all the way up to tier uh, 8 for 10,000 community tokens. Uh, and then you have this Restless Fire Flag. Uh, I've already earned it. Um, somehow, I don't remember how. Uh, community Trophies. More credits container, more signals container, more resources container for 750 uh, community tokens. Uh, recruiting Station. It's just a flag. That's all it is. It doesn't do anything for you. Just like this one. And then things get a little more interesting, uh, I think, with these top six containers. So you have uh, the Junior Recruiting Station um, for 500 community tokens, uh, where it lists all these um, drops or what you can possibly uh, get from uh, the container, one of these following items. So you can see uh, you actually have a chance of getting a premium ship uh, of these here. You know, some doubloons, coal, free XP, um, da, da, da. some camouflages you can earn, some signals. Then you have uh, the next one up, which is the seasoned recruiting station container. It's basically the same things as was pre listed in the previous container, except you can see the ships you can earn, it's like uh, some tiers higher. Um, and possibly earning more doubloons, coal, free XP, credits, uh, along with uh, signals. Then going into the veteran recruiting station, you for 3,000 community tokens, you can see oh, now we're up to, uh, you know, up to, up to tier eight ships with kid, right? Um, then even more doubloons, more coal, uh, more premium account, more XP, more credits, uh, mosaic uh, Atlantic camouflage or Asian lantern camouflage. Uh, these are really good. Um, and then the special signals, that's really nice. Um, premium ship five container for 10,000 community tokens. You are guaranteed when you buy this crate that you will get a tier uh, five ship. So you can see we have anything from the Texas, uh, the Hotnik, uh, the Kirov, um, along with a port slot and commander with 10 skill points. And if you already have uh, these tier five premium ships, or you get 4,000 doubloons. So uh, if you're wanting to earn doubloons for, and you have all these tier five premium ships, uh, then it's uh, a fun way to just uh, earn free doubloons, I suppose. Then you have Super Container. Uh, you can see it's actually on sale right now. Traditionally, it's 6,000 community tokens, but it's right now it's 66% off for 2,000 community tokens. Um, and most of you all are pretty familiar with Super Containers. I mean, you just saw uh, that I opened one at the start of the stream, this is kind of the video. Uh, that's part of my purpose in doing that. Um, where you get, uh, you can pull a ship from the container, uh, you can pull uh, camouflages, so there's like this whole list of uh, camouflages you can pull. Uh, of course, we pulled the World of Worship's Anniversary camouflages. Kind of like the, um, I like the sci-fi one a lot. Um, the Eagles, I think, is really cool. The Victory, I like. Um, so you have those, and then you have, you know, 50,000 for XP, anywhere from 90 to 7 days of premium account, anywhere from 1,000 to 5,000 doubloons. Um, coal, steel, uh, you know, steel's always really nice when you get that from uh, a super container. So if you have, you know, the excess green tokens lying around, you can uh, purchase yourself a nice, like uh, several super containers. Like I could purchase uh, six right now um, because it's 66% off. And if you're watching this video after this has already passed, I'm sure that they'll do another 66% off at some point. Uh, I'm not entirely sure why. Um, the reason for uh, that sale. It might be to get you to spend your community tokens. So if you're saving up for something like this bad boy, uh, which is a premium ship uh, tier seven container uh, for 30,000 community tokens. And that's actually what I'm saving up my community tokens for right now. Um, I've not spent any yet that I've earned in the past month. Uh, this container includes a premium ship such as uh, the Sharnhorst, uh, the Bruzy, um, other ships I'm probably going to uh, pronounce wrong, Duke of York, Atlanta, Indianapolis, Boise, Sims, Leningrad, Udachi, 
Garizia, California, along with the port slot and commander 10 skill points. And if you already have uh, the ships and you purchase this container, then you get 8,500 doubloons, right? So that's actually uh, quite nice. And I have Sharnhorst, I have the Blisk, which I like never play. Um, but I don't own any of these other premium tier 7 ships on this list. Um, yeah, I don't any, own any of the others. So um, I'm really hoping to get something. I'd like to have Atlanta, Indianapolis, the Boise, Sims. I like collecting American ships. Um, I may even be fine with the Hood or the Duke of York. Uh, Udachi would be funny. Um, so yeah, for 30,000 uh, community tokens. So uh, this is what you can purchase uh, with earning community tokens. Um, now, what do I think are good choices and what do I think are bad choices? Well, I'm going to tell you straight off the bat that um, I think the signals uh, are bad choices. Um, you can buy these in the armory uh, for credits or coal. And you even get coupons. So why would, like, community tokens, it's... Uh, it's kind of hard to earn them. So why would you spend, uh, it takes time to collect them. So why would you just burn those when you can just use credits instead, right? Just if you really in need of signals, just sell some stuff in your inventory that we talked about uh, in a previous basics video. And then just uh, get yourself signals that way. So I think signals uh, are a bad choice uh, in my opinion. Don't waste your 600 community tokens on that. Um, you also have the camouflages. Uh, so if we hop back into here, um, I can pull this up. Uh, you can see we have, the, here's the Restless Fire here. Um, yeah, so you can already purchase several here. There's some that are not listed here. Um, we're in a contrast to uh, the naval community. Uh, you have them available here, like the Cruising Station Stream Dream MGT20. So maybe if you're like, hey, I like to, I'm a collector like myself, and maybe I just want to have one of uh, each of these, just to say that I have one of them um, in collecting my signal uh, collection, or camouflage collection, sorry. Um, then you have uh, these guys. Uh, I think all of these are good choices. I see nothing bad or wrong about getting a permanent camouflage for your ship. I um, mean, you get the bonuses where you were to get that additional XP per battle, um, the cost of your ship's post-battle service is reduced by negative 10%, which means more credits in your pocket. Uh, so I think all of uh, the permanent camouflages are definitely good choices. Um, I mean, these are just flags. I mean, if you're collecting flags, sure. But otherwise, like, I have no intention of uh, buying this flag because I'm never going to mount it on my ship. Unless I get it through some sort of combat mission or whatever. I don't know how else you could possibly earn this. Um... The community trophies, um, the, the more credits container, more signals container, more resources container, uh, you can get these containers just from doing the daily uh, combat missions, right? Or uh, where you earn, uh, I'll just show you. I say daily combat missions, I need to say uh, just containers, right? You earn 2,000 uh, experience, you get your first container, get 12,500 experience, get your second container, uh, 37,000 experience, you get your third container. And if you're running uh, economic signals, special signals, or, you know, camouflages uh, in a day, you know, it does actually, you, you get through this really quick. Um, so then you can just choose there your more resources, more signals, uh, more credits container. So I just, I kind of don't recommend going for that uh, option. Um, and then you have these guys. Um, how would I phrase this? Um, something I noticed uh, with these guys, I mean, basically, if you're saving up more community tokens, uh, rather than buying like the junior recruiting station container, you go for the seasoned recruiting or the veteran recruiting, uh, you're, you're going to get more uh, or, you know, your rewards are going to be greater. Like if you go for uh, the veteran recruiting station container versus uh, the junior recruiting uh, station container. So um, I would say over these three, if you can just save up and go for this one, uh, it's nicer if you want uh, a more sizable reward uh, versus, you know, instead of getting uh, 100 doubloons, you get 1,000 doubloons. 
Um, instead of getting 150,000 credits, you can get 1.5 1, 1. million credits. Or let's see, instead of 5,000 free XP, you could possibly earn 30,000 free XP. So um, you just have, and these uh, temporary camouflages uh, are really, expendable camouflages, sorry, uh, are really good as well as the bonuses of the special signals. Um, and then the super container, uh, for 2,000 community tokens, I think it's not a bad option. For 6,000, I question it a lot more uh, because like, if you buy one for 6,000, why not save 4,000 more and get your tier five uh, premium ship container? And if you already have them, you get 4,000 doubloons, right? Or maybe you have, um, yeah. So I, I don't think this is worth it for the 6,000 community tokens, but whenever it's on sale for 2,000, maybe it's more worth it. Uh, myself, uh, my two uh, my two go-to options uh, for the naval community uh, right now is getting the tier five or the tier seven uh, premium ship container. Now, for myself, I've been playing the game for two years now and I still don't own all the ships in the game, especially the premium ones, right? So anything I can do to earn those for free um, I mean, I guess it, it costs me time if I'm watching a stream or I'm playing on the public test server, but I'm still enjoying myself uh, when I do that or just playing the combat missions. Um, but I'm earning these for free. I mean, a lot of the premium ships I've had, I've actually, I've got them through a container or uh, I've used free free XP, you know, when I purchased the Alaska for free XP, the Friesland, uh, I just got the Zuma for free XP. Like those are uh, three ships right there that I didn't spend any money on and I just earned by playing the game, uh, by earning free experience. Um, so let's say you are a player and you have like all the tier five and all the tier seven premium ships, right? Uh, then what would I tell you when it comes to the doubloons? Well, for the 10,000, right? If you already own one of these ships, uh, you will get 4,000 doubloons for 10,000. For the 30,000, you get 8,500 doubloons. So what does this tell you? Well, if I have all the tier five uh, premium ships and all the tier seven premium ships, um, then I actually, I would, if I want to earn doubloons, I would want to use my 30,000 uh, community tokens to purchase three of these and I'll earn up to 12,000 doubloons versus 30,000 uh, for just 8,500 doubloons if I own all the tier seven premium ships, right? That's how it works in my head, if I'm understanding this correctly, if you own all the tier five or the tier seven ships, if I'm mistaken and someone wants to correct me, please do so in the comments. Uh, but this is my understanding and how, like, how this works. So uh, that's what I would recommend in that case if you're just wanting to earn doubloons, like basically for free, just uh, only expensive time uh, for these community tokens. And then you can use your doubloons uh, to buy commanders in the game, uh, save them up, uh, buy ships in the game, right, over time, just by naval community. So I think this is a really cool way uh, to engage, and if you're uh, getting a lot of these resources, uh, to be able to spend them in this way um, in the game uh, to get yourself in a better place um, overall. So I hope uh, this has explained uh, the naval community, the community tokens to you really well. Um, I think it's, uh, again, I think it's a, a cool, neat future, um, just by earning things and getting things back for free, uh, essentially minus time spent. Um, but yeah, but this is my input. This is my impressions on community tokens uh, in the Naval community of Armory. So if you liked uh, today's video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you did not give it a thumbs down, subscribe if you do want to see more. If you haven't subscribed, thanks so much. I really appreciate it as we continue to grow the community here with you. So until next time, take care.